supporting this bill. I call Chloe Swarbrick. I would like to congratulate, uh, congratulate rather, first and foremost, uh, Jenny Markroft uh, for having this bill drawn, uh, which, as uh, the Honourable Paul Goldsmith has noted, the original drawer-upper uh, was the Associate Minister uh, for Education, uh, the Honourable Tracy Martin. Uh, so, the, as has been noted by a number of speakers who um, have spoken before me on this piece of legislation, um, there are a lot of education bills currently going before the House, uh, and I think what that speaks to is the priority uh, that this government places on education, uh, which I personally think, uh, and the Green Party thinks, is awesome. Uh, so this bill essentially does what it says on the box. It protects teacher title. Uh, to echo the sentiments of one Joe Luxton, uh, my colleague in the Labour Party, uh, this is about the status of the profession. How is it that uh, you know, a doctor can call themselves a doctor and expect nobody else to do so, that a lawyer can call themselves a lawyer and expect nobody else to do so? It's because they have progressed through the requisite uh, training in order to don that title. Uh, that title holds status uh, and it holds immense value. Uh, the premise of this bill is to ensure that that value is protected uh, for our teachers, who actually go through quite a bit of training uh, in order to stand before uh, their classrooms and do teaching. Uh, I'd like to um, touch on as well what the Honourable Paul Goldsmith said around uh, this being a basic title. Uh, the title of teachers. I think that's um, a little bit disappointing uh, to hear from uh, Paul Goldsmith. Uh, this, this is not um, a basic title. Here we are talking about the people who are educating the next generation. Uh, to reiterate what I've just said previously, this is about ensuring that we see the value as a government, as a parliament, as a House of Representatives in uh, the work that these teachers do. Uh, to draw some kind of parallel, I think it would be incredibly interesting to see the response of uh, certain politicians in this House. Should we suggest that it would be all right for average members of the public uh, to be calling themselves the Honourable? Uh, you know, to, to, to draw this, this parallel out about how, uh, you know, we, we hold titles in this House. Uh, and those titles we consider to be somewhat important. They're official titles that we can use in Kōrero in dialogue with each other. And we're expected to use them because they are, of course, formal titles. They hold value. They demonstrate the mahi that people have put in to holding those titles. Uh, so, you know, it's also been noted uh, that this is something which is supposedly ideologically driven. Um, you know, it's, it's about charter schools. Uh, and it is actually, indeed, are uh, premised on charter schools and what the previous government did with those charter schools in enabling people who did not hold the qualifications of teachers to stand before our kids and teach them. No, no, they do not. No, it is not universal, uh, I would add, Matt King. So, um, this, is, this is absolutely uh, premised uh, and was introduced uh, with those in mind. Uh, this is all part of a massive work program, I would note, uh, that I'm incredibly honoured to be working on uh, with the Associate Minister for Education, uh, Tracy Martin, who was the original drawer-upper of this bill, uh, and the Minister for Education, Chris Hipkins, to, to drawer-upper, to use the words of uh, one honourable uh, Paul Goldsmith. <laughs> so, uh, in summation, Mr Speaker, uh, this is a small but significant step towards ensuring that we, as a government, as a parliament, as a House of Representatives, move towards recognising the value that teachers uh, generate in our society and the work that they have put in to uh, holding that kind of position. 
So I look forward uh, to hearing uh, from the general public on this bill at the select committee stage, uh, and would like to say that my views diverge uh, from one to Mackendo. Uh, I do think that it is really crucial that we are having these conversations with the general public. It is important that our workload is high because that is what we in this House are paid to do. Mr Speaker, I commend this bill to the House and the Green Party will be voting for it through to select committee. Yeah, to Manu Whakawa. Uh, the Honourable Tim 